dear students today i will start with type 2 sedimentation okay so for type 2 sedimentation these are the particles which are not discrete already i explained the design of sedimentation of primary sedimentation secondary sedimentation and then clearly flow collectors which are not discrete so your design based on sor and hrt say for example i say if the sor should be around 10 to 18 meter cube meter square per day then we say for the coagulated particles it should be around 24 to 36 meter cube per meter square per day you should assume hrt for the PST around 1 to 2 hours SST secondary for 2 to 4 hours example so these are all your BTEC syllabus my question is from where did you get all these values so being an MDIC students you are responsible to know how do you get all these values okay so just to make my teachings easy I have some students over here also you can start the refreshment okay so how do you get this value now that is a part i'm going to explain it okay. so first of all now we say for a typical wastewater or a typical drinking water we want to check what should be the exact sor we should adopt for this type of questions how to do the experiments so for a particular water the first thing is you have to collect the water and you have to do a lab scale analysis okay or another question is let's say there is already a existing grid chamber this is a grid chamber there is sorry not grid chamber the primary sedimentation tank which is already existing now i want to know what will be the removal of this primary sedimentation tank if i want 80 percent what should be the hrt okay for a typical water incoming water I, I want to know what should be the hrt i should adopt or what should the sor i should adopt so that i should achieve 80 percent efficiency so what you have to do is the first is this water you have to fed into the reactor and then you will make it settle down for some times to make the things easy here this is a nozzle a different tap will have a nozzle so 3, 2.5, 2, 1.5, 1, 1. Three two five two on the right one point five G. So the water is fed and here this depth is this is zero depth means water level, then this is zero point five depth, then this is one meter depth, then this is one point five meter depth. This is 2 meter depth, this is 2.5 meter depth, and this is 3 meter depth. So if the grid chamber, the depth, or if the primary sedimentation depth is around 3 meters, then we will do the experiment in this way. Okay. We will do the experiment in this way. Just a second, please. So... To make the things easy, the best thing what I'll do is I've got a, I've got a very good example. Okay. Now here this is zero point five meter, one meter. 1.5 meter, 2 meter, 2.5 meter, and 3 meter. And here the time is 
30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, 120 minutes, 150 minutes, and then finally 180 minutes. So what right now we do is, we do the experiment, we put the water over here. After 30 minutes, we collected the sample at different port. This is port 1, this is port 2, port 3, port 4, port 5, port 6. The depth is 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, okay. So at 0 0.5 meter, in 30 minutes, this is the time. The concentration is 133 milligram per liter. Initially, the concentration was 250 milligram per liter. So what we achieve is, after 30 minutes, the 250 milligram, some of them settles down, and we got 133 milligram per liter. Then it is 180, 203, 213, 220, and 225. Now you can have a look over here. That means after 30 minutes, at the depth of 3 meter, from 250, it is reduced to 225. That is only 25 milligram per liter has been settled down. However, from the top, 133 is there means almost 50, almost 97 milligram per liter has been settled down from the top. So therefore, and all the concentration also settles at the bottom and hence removal is very less as compared to the top. With the instant of time, after 60 minutes, again, this will get decreased. This is 83, this is 125, 150, 168, 180, and 188. So after 60 minutes, we collected the sample from every port, we estimated the suspended solids, and the concentration decrease. Similarly, in 90 minutes, so let me write all the values over here, 50, 93, 118, 135, 145, 155, 70, 58, 90, 70, 103, 80, 113, and 95. See, this is the actual sampling data you have done. With the increase in the time, the concentration decreased. That means after three hours, this 250 milligram per liter is reduced to 23. That means 200 and almost 27 milligram per liter has been settled down. However, at a depth of 3 meters, it is coming 95, higher than this because all the solid also settled at the bottom. This is the practical lab analysis that you have to do by yourself. However, in the exam time, we may give you the way. Okay. So, this is the first table for type 2 sedimentation. Rather, I will say this is table number 1. Step by step. So, Table number two, what you have to do is, you have to find the removable efficiency. Say for example, for this 133, the removable efficiency is 250, the initial minus 133 divided by 250 into 100%. Okay, so this value is around 47. Okay. Dear students, this is table number one, the question. Actually, it should be done for the practical. Now, the next step is table number two. So, in case if you want to copy the value again, what you can do is you can pause the video and you can have a look and you can copy it. Okay. Let me continue with for table number two, all this data, this 133 
has to be replaced by 47. So table number 2 is about removable percentage. Okay, so every value written over here should be replaced by the percentage. What about 180? 180 should be replaced by 250 minus 180 divided by 250. The value will be 28 percentage. Okay, so this will be replaced by 28. Fine. So like that, every value here has to be replaced by all the values. So you can calculate by yourself, but let me down a value over here. Okay, this is going to be table number two. So what I will get will be 28. 19, 15, 12, 10, 67, 50, 55, Seventy seven, seventy two, sixty eight, and then sixty two. Okay, so this table is for the removal percentage. Fine, you can calculate by yourself. The production of table one to table two itself will carry around two, three marks because everything is the conversion of removal percentage. So you have to use this formula. Okay, please copy down. The next third step is going to be a very important one. I'll give you some time. Actually, this is a very, very painful lectures I ever met. Yesterday itself, I have made the lecture for around one hour and 20 minutes. And unfortunately, there happened to be, you know, no storage in my phone. So it was not recorded. So I'm recording this one for a second time. Okay. So after this, the next step is very, very important. So I'll rub this on everything. Now the next one is going to be third step is drawing of the graphs. Actually, this drawing of the graphs in the class, theory class, I used to take around three hours to make all the students understood. And I used to, you know, hold the hands of every students to make them understand how to draw the graph. But here, since it is not possible, I'll take some extra pain. And this third part is called ISO concentration curve. We have to obtain an ISO concentration curve. Okay. Now here, it's very important for me to obtain a graph. So, on the y-axis, it will be the different depth. So different depth is going to be this will be 0, this will be 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5. Okay, on the bottom part, this has to be one, two. Yeah. 
here is 30, 60, 90, 20. Okay. So here, this is going to be, this is zero meter depth. This is 0 0.5 meter depth. This is 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, and 3. Mind you, this is not a graph, but rather we call it isoconcentration curve. This is something like the contour levels. And on the y axis, this is going to be uh, what you call it, a different time. This is 30 minutes. 60 minutes, 90 minutes, 120 minutes, 150 minutes, 180 minutes. 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. Fine. This is the time in minutes. Okay. This is just a pictorial presentation of what you have obtained over here. Now, since mine is not a graph paper, it's quite difficult. So, I have to mark all the points over here to make the things very accurate. This is very high accuracy. Okay. So this is a junction of at 30 minutes at 2.5, at 60 minutes at 2.5. Every junction you need to put a dot. These dots are very important even though you have a graph paper, insertion of this dot is also very very important. Okay. This lecture, I'm telling you, it is one of the most painful lecture I've ever taken because it involves a lot of graphs, a lot of illustrations. It is just not like just knowing one formula and solving the problem. So please kindly pay attention to this lecture especially. So this may not be exactly accurate. But after that, please don't forget to circle in every point. Even in your graph paper, the junction of all the points, you please circle it to make the points very distinct because this part is very important. Okay. Now, the next third step is you have to insert all the values. You have to insert all those values again, what I've given you before, the percentage. So the values you try to write at the bottom properly. This is very important. 48, 28, 19, 15, and 12. These are the percentage removable at 30 minutes at different different depth. So this is just a pictorial presentation of all the values, not an exact graph. Rather, you can say this is something like an elevation chart. 33, 28. Ah, and last part is this is 10. I made the silly mistake. This is also important. That this is 25, 80, 
63, 56, 57, 62, 68, and then 62, fine. I need to check sometimes because if the video is off in the middle, then I'll be again in a very painful situation. Now, the first thing is we have to draw the ISO concentration curve. So these all the points are the removable percentage at different different depth at different different times. Fine. Up to here, I think the problem is very simple. The next one is first you draw the ISO, ISO concentration curve for say 10 percentage. Now here for 10 percentage, you can see over here. Here one is 10. This is 10. So over here will be 0. From 12 and here, 10 maybe half will be around 6. 0 and 12, 6. 6 and 12, here will be 9 half. So 10 maybe around here, right? So for 15, 0 and 15. 7.5 is the half, 7.5 and 15, another half is around 10.5, 10 maybe around here. 19 is almost 20, so half will be 10 around here. 28, so half will be around, say 14, 7.5, 10 maybe here. This is 15, 25, 12, 10 maybe around here. In your graph paper, it's very easy to do it because you have number of small, small boxes. So based on the number of boxes, say for example, 19 units is called a how many box so where will be 10 you can find easily after that you have to draw the iso concentration curve so iso concentration curve means remember these are the points it should be a free hand so this is this is 10 percent iso concentration curve now, oh, I made a mistake probably. 10, 12. It should, it should be here, touching this point. Correct. Ah. Now, let me obtain for 20 percentage. For 20 percent, that means at 1.5 meter depth, at 15 minutes, the removal will be 10 percentage. So wherever the graph takes, say for example, this point, that means at around, maybe say 29 minutes, at around 29 minutes, at a depth of 2.2 meter, the removal will be 10 percentage. That is the concept. At around 5 minutes, at 0.5 meter depth, the removal will be 10 percentage. Wherever the line goes, that particular depth and particular time, removal is 10 percentage. So this is the ISO concentration curve for 10 percentage. Okay. Now let me go for 30 percentage. Okay. Now for 30, 25 is here, 38 is here. So 25 to 38 is 13 units. So half will be around 7.5. That means 25 plus 7.5, 32.5. So probably 30 will be around here. So 28, 42, 28 and 42 is 14, so half is 7, 28 plus 7, 7 units, then half will be 3.5, so this will be 28 plus 3.5, 31.5, so roughly around approximately this will be 30, okay, this black one, 33, 15, total is 18, this is 9 units, 4.5 units, so if this is 3, minus 4.5, this may be around 28.5. So probably 30 will be around here. Okay. Then this is almost 20. 19 is almost 20. 40. Half is 30. So 30 will be here. 20 and 50. 22 units. This will be 11 units. 5.5 units. Half 2. So 30 will be around here. 
correct so this is tail this line is tail tail in 47 37 half of 37 is around 19 here will be 19 so tail plus 19 is around 30 so here will be 35 so now i have to collect these points so this is the iso concentration curve of 30 so this is 30 percent iso concentration curve but you may ask me what is the purpose of doing all those concentration curves now the question comes the question comes that for the initial concentration of 250 milligram per liter and t is equal to one hour 40 one hour 45 minutes and depth is called to 3 meter what will be the removable percentage this can be the question so for this particular incoming wastewater if i want to design a grid chamber a uh, sorry primary celebration tank or any type to for a depth of 3 meters what will be the removal percentage if i put hrt is equal to 1 hour 45 minutes so you have to find this one if you say not one hour in two hours in three hours you can find as simple as that question is at this particular time what will be the percentage that is constant and initial coming water is 250 and the characteristics of the water is already given over here right fine now you see here time is called to one hour 45 minutes means t is equal to 105 minutes the first thing what we have to do is where is my scale the first thing we have to do is 105 minutes where is 105 minutes over here so this is 19 now 120 middle will be exactly 105 minutes so this is 105 minutes the first thing what you do is you make a straight line over here at 105 minutes okay so this is the line and 105 because we want to solve this problem so at 105 draw a line now you find what is the value over here what is the removal percentage so in 90 minutes is 38 120 minutes is 47 so 90 and 120 middle is 105 minutes so removal percentage will be 38 plus 47 divided by to average so 40 78 80 85 so it is 42.5 percentage correct because how you got 38 38 is for 90 minutes and 47 this is for 120 minutes therefore for 105 minutes you'll get the middle one that is 42.5 okay so i'll consider that this is 42.5 now we have to draw the iso concentration curve of 42.5 this is 30 42.5 so 40 lump sum you can take it say here 42.5 now here 33 and 46 the difference is 13 half is 7.5 so here will be on 40 42 40 means 46 so this will be 43 so 42 may be around here so this is 42.5 40 and 53 13 units so this will be around 47 this will be around 43 so 42 may be here then 20 and 50 uh, sorry this is 30 30 and 50 middle will be 40 
42 may be here. So 47 and 30, middle will be 30 and 47, middle will be around 38. So 42 may be here. Okay, now you have to draw the isolated concentration curve of 42.5. So this is the ISO concentration curve of 42.5. 42.5, why? I told you, because T is equal to 105 minutes. We want to find it out. Fine. Now let me rough this part. Is it still recording? I have to check. Yeah, 30 minutes is gone. Where is my duster? So let me rough this part. Now, as I explained to you before, removal is always of two type. Removal is called the one is R, one is del R. R is the complete removal, right? And del R is the partial removal. Now, you can look over here. At 42.5, sorry. At 105 minutes, 42.5 has been completely removed. Fine, correct. Therefore, at 42.5, at T is equal to 105 minutes, R is equal to 42.5 percentage. That means 42.5 percentage of the solids are completely removed. Because why? It is completely settled at the bottom. Since it is settled at the bottom, 42.5 is completely removed. So this is the complete part. Just like the type 1 sedimentation. Is it okay? Let me repeat it again. For a, a time is called the 105, we can see that 42.5 percent of the solids are completely at the bottom part, the 3 meter depth. That means they are completely settled. Okay. Now, the thing is, what about the partial removal? del r partial removal we know it is always the ratio of settling velocity of the particle divided by velocity design into the fractional removal del x right but over here there is no settling velocity there is no velocity design everything is based on a depth so this can be explained as rather than settling velocity we can say the del jet by the complete jet. What about del x? We don't have del x over here, but these are all percentage. So into removable percentage. This is the fractional removal. Okay. This is del r. Can I clear around? So del j means the fractional depth. J means the actual depth that is complete 3 meter and R means whatever removable they have. So already 42.5 we have, now we are going to find what is del R. So to find del R, we are drawing a straight line over here. Okay, so what do we do over here, del Z by J R, I'll estimate over here. Now you can see here. So, if in the questions, if they ask at 105 minutes, I'll give you a hint. Don't try to draw the ISO concentration curve below this part. This 10, this 30, I'm just teaching you, but this is of no use. It's going to kill the time. So, what you do next is the partial removal. That is from here till the upper part. The next part is you have to draw this is the ISO concentration curve of 42.5. You have to draw the ISO concentration of 50. Next one is above is 50. So 47 is here, 51 is here, 50 will be around here. So 47, 55, your half, half will be 51, 52, so 50 may be here. 42 and 51, 50 may be here. 46, 56, half is 
51. So 50 may be here. 40, 53. 40, 53. Half will be 46. 49, 50 will be here. 50 is here. 47, 67. This will be 57. This will be 52. This will be around 50. Okay. So now I am going to draw the isoconsideration curve of now 50. This is 50. This is this is 50 percentage. 60 percent is now we have to draw. 60 means 59 is here, 55, 62. So half will be 58, 60 will be here. 59, 68. This will be around 55. 55, so 60 may be around here. 56, 64. It will be exactly in the middle. 53, 63. The half will be 58. So 60 will be half over here. 63, 50. So this will be around 57. 57 and the 63, half 50 will be here. So, for, so this is 50. This is 67. 50 and 67. Half will be 62. So 60 may be here. So now I'm going to draw for 60. So this is for 60 percentage. What about 70 percentage? This is 62, 68, 72. 68 and 72 middle is over here so this is 70 64 72 half will be 68 half will be 70 this will be here so at least i got two points one is here one is here 63 72 70 will be here 63 74 half will be 68 half so half half 70 will be here 67 and 80 this will be 73 70 will be here so another this is this is for 70 right so this is 70 for the 80 77 83 exactly 80 will be here 78, 83, almost middle of the IT. This is IT. So for IT, it's very easy. This is IT. So 90, 80, 90, 91. So for 90, it's not very important. Till IT, you can finish the ribbon. Okay. So we have all the consideration curve. Fine. Now, we have to find del R. R is already 42.5. Okay. So you don't worry, the ending is very near. In case if you have a doubt, you can give a comment in the YouTube or else you can pause the video and you can have a look. These are all isoconcentration curve. That means the given line signifies, say for example, this one is 60%, that this line signifies 60% removable at any instant of time, at any instant of depth. Okay. So del R, del R, I told you, is summation of del Z by Z into its removable percentage. So first one, you can have a look here. This, now the difficulty part is reaching. This part at 105 minutes is 42.5. Whatever on the right side, these are all partial removable. On the left side is complete removal of 42.5. So from here to here, we are going to consider in this straight line. This is rather you can say this is a function. This is called functional line. Why we call it functional line? Because this is the line we want to find for 42.5. In this functional line, first you got a point over here. 
second is over here okay these two point this is the iso concentration curve of 42.5 this is the iso concentration curve of 50 so what you do is this two the the middle part is the mid part is this is 21 it's around here so middle part is around you bring it so can I say from 42.5 till 50 the middle part the depth is around 2.5 so what over here is del z is 2.5 divided by z is 3 meter the total depth 3 meter and what is the removal removal is 50 minus 42.5 that means from 50 to 42.5 this removal of 7.5 into the fractional depth that is 2.5 divided by 3 this is the first part plus so second part is from here to here that is 50 and 60 so 50 and 60 you have to check where is the exact middle exact middle is here so draw and find what is the corresponding depth at this average removal percentage so here I got it this is around 1.5 to 2 this 3 1.5 to 2 this is around 1.65 okay so this is 1.65 depth is the effective depth of 50 and 60 divided by total depth into what the percentage 60 minus 50 plus next one is 60 to 70 60 to 70 so this in this functional depth functional line 1 to 4 is around here and what is the effective depth of this effective depth is over here this is one meter so this is around 1.05 meter this one so you can say is 1.05 divided by 3 into 70 minus 60 plus 70 to 80 the difference the, the depth the mid is over here and the corresponding mid value is around here okay so this is 0 0.5 point 0.65 so this is 0 0.65 so 0 0.65 divided by 3 into 80 minus 70 but for the 90 you can neglect because it's very very minimum now how much you get 2.5 by 3 into this one so have a look here again so let me calculate calculator sometimes it's difficult to find a calculator so let me go one by one the first one in your exam time to make the things easy all the denominator are three okay so what you can do is 50 minus 4.5 you can replace this as 7.5 this is 10 to make the things easy I make it everything 10 this can be 10 right so 2.5 into 7.5 is 18.75 so I'll put this one as 18.75 plus 1.65 into 10 this can be 16.5 then 1.05 into 10 
this can be 10.5 point 0.65 to 10 this can be 6.5 so I think 0.75 plus 16.5 plus 10.5 plus 6.5 is equal to is this is 52.25 divided by 3 is equal to 17.42 percentage okay now the last part now the last part here as I explained you before R is equal to sorry total removal is equal to R plus fractional removal R was 42.5 Fractional removal is 17.42. So you can get 59, 59.92%. This is the final answer. My answer may not be exactly correct. It depends on how you draw this curve. Even though mine is not accurate. So when I take the, this value, little bit error may be there. So the thing is 59.92% removal will achieve for this type of wastewater characteristics at 105 minutes so that is the end of this topic but I would like to extend for another two minutes to give you the much explanation okay so in case if you want to have the video you can steal it you can pause it and you can have a look okay now for the beginning let me explain you uh, once more first of all they will give you the values at different depth at different time what is the concentration of the solids in settling characteristics okay table one and table two you have to convert everything into the removal percentage okay so those removal percentage you have to plot between the two axes there is a time and your different depth and this is not a graph but this is the pictorial presentation of the values into your chart this is just like a top view or elevation of different different points and the question is at 105 minutes I'm just giving one example at 105 minutes what is a total removal so removal is two type one is complete removal and one is partial removal complete removal are those removals that settles at the bottom completely at that given time and that is 42.5 percentage partial removal to draw it you have to draw the ISO concentration curve and to obtain that we have the functional line for the functional line we draw 50 60 70 80 iso concentration curve and we obtain the fractional removal the formula that i already i told you it is the ratio of settling velocity by actual velocity but over here we don't have the velocity so we have the delta jet fractional depth by actual depth so jet is 3 meter completely and the remaining R whatever the depth of this particular isoconcentration curve and R is the removal that we take for isoconcentration curve so there is a complete removal okay just before 2 minutes let me check the video is still on okay good 49 minutes is gone now to summarize these things It's also very, very difficult to rub the whiteboard. This online makes us suffer everyone. But students, you can off the video, you can have a cup of coffee and you can enjoy the video at any time. Right. classroom I used to ask the students to rub the whiteboard but over here I'm taking the pen by myself so you please pay consideration to this class okay now the question is now the question is you may say this is the HRT this is the removal percentage this is the HRT sorry 
this is a SOR and this is the removal percentage but in the graph we have done before there is nothing called SOR what is the SOR very similar to velocity so depth by time so it's very easy depth means that 3 meter is depth time means either it will be 30 minutes or 60 minutes or 90 minutes whatever okay so what happened is with the increase in the HRD time if you keep on increasing more time removal keeps on increasing because settling will be high so the graph will be like this okay remember this however in terms of SOR as we know with the increase in SOR value SOR is depth by time so if we keep on increasing the SOR means you have to decrease the time time has to be time has to decrease right that is constant so if you decrease the time time is decreased means it is decreasing so it is inverse so removable will be decreased okay this chart already I have done before also now the question is it's coming to the end you said for a simple primary celebration tank or coagulate tank PST or coagulated what HRT you should take you already know that you said for the PST you take it around one to two hours for the coagulated you said around two to four hours okay from where do you get this already it, it was there in the BTEC first year sorry environmental part two the thing is this treatment is for water treatment or wastewater treatment and throughout the global maybe America or Europe or Japan or China or India Asia the domestic characteristic will be almost same it is not in America that in domestic waste uh, what you call suspended solids will be very minimum because Americans are very you know good in eating it's nothing like it. the characteristic will be almost similar so when we try it in different ways we try sedimentation estimation analysis we have obtained this curve and we check that for around 80 to 90 percent that means this value 80 to 90 percent the HRT it comes to be around this value that's why in the textbook we give this value because it is done by this type of experiments okay so always we try for 80 to 90 percent efficiency for 80 to 90 percent efficiency the corresponding time comes to be one to two hours if this is coagulated one for 80 to 90 percent the graph will be different okay for the particular graph again the time happens to be around two to four hours similarly over here for SOR value if I want to remove around 80 to 90 percent removal the SOR what I observe this happens to be around this happens to be around number one for PST it comes around 10 to 18 meter cube per meter square per day and for around coagulated chemicals it comes around 24 to 36 meter cube per meter square per day so all those value in the SK curve book or whatever book you have those values you, you you find very difficult to mug up it is from this experiment okay I think it's clear now I was supposed to say something but I forgot it huh last part we have been the test I'm not able to explain many many things but in one picture I'm going to explain it some hint some question number one you try to find efficiency at T is equal to two hours okay if you say two hours what you have to do is draw the influence line at two hours initially we draw it 105 minutes if two hours draw the influence line in two hours that's all finished next question is if you say you find efficiency at 
2 meter depth but we have done it for 3 meters then how to do a 2 meter depth at t is equal to 2 over you don't worry this is a graph you have for 3 meter for 2 meter 1 meter correct and this is time this is 30 60 90 120 150 180 what you do is even though we may give you the value to distract your mind the best simple thing is draw a line over here a 2 meter depth and this is 30 meter 60 meter 90 meter 120 150 180 and imagine as if this doesn't exist let the values be there but you fold the paper you cut the paper and analyze this way so all the ice and two hours right one to two this is the this is the inference diagram inference line so all the iso concentration curve you can draw from here below part you cut it off if it is asked in two meter depth even though the data are given for three meter depth so i think from one data different different questions may be asked another mode of question asking is they may, they may ask you find the time for it for it five percent removal i want to know the time for it five percent removal at three meter depth same for this how will you do you have to do a lot of hidden trial techniques first number one you find at t is equal to 90 hours 90 minutes then you find t is equal to 120 minutes this may be around say 65 percent removable this may be around 75 percent removable you keep on checking you keep on increasing the t so next you can do t is equal to 150 minutes and you may find this one to be around say 87 percentage so at this for this question you have to do hit and trial techniques three times or four times and you have to search so this is 87 this is 75 this is 65 interpolated extrapolated and then therefore anyway t is lying in the range of 120 to 150 correct and you find it out so this is the different style of asking the question but if you ask this way then it'll take time because you have to draw iso concentration curve at 90 minutes at 120 minutes at 150 minutes inference line this will take time so but all the concepts are similar so dear students this is about time to celebration just imagine the same class i have already recorded for one hour 45 minutes and it goes blank so you should know the pain that we have taken it my request is you should take very important about these classes and if any doubts if any issue is there you please put a comments in the WhatsApp or in your what you call YouTube but please don't as I explained you before more than 130 subscriber are there not even NIT Manipur students so please don't try to what you call dirty the YouTube these classes it is only for academic purpose okay thank you